Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover reducing fractions. This is how it works. You look at a fraction like 2436, then you need to reduce it to simplest form. Simplest form is when you can't divide both the numerator and the denominator by any common factors. So really what you're supposed to do is to keep dividing until you can't divide anymore or just divide by the greatest common factor of these two numbers. So this is the way that most people learn how to do it. They look at 24 and 36 and they try to think, what can I divide both 24 and 36 by? And you might think, hmm, I don't know, how about 6? 6 goes into both. So I'm going to divide by 6. You could have also done 2 or 3. Whatever you know works. So I know that 6 goes into both of these numbers. Uh, 24 divided by 6 is 4, and then 36 divided by 6 is 6. Then you look at my new fraction, my equivalent fraction, 4 sixths, and you try to think, are there any numbers that I can divide both 4 and 6 by? And the answer is yes. This can be reduced further. This is reduced, but not to simplest form. So I'm going to divide again. They're both divisible by 2. So I'm going to divide both by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now, 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. They don't have any common factors except for 1, and that is the simplest form of the fraction 24 36 Now, I could have divided by 12. I'll do that real big. I could have divided by 12, 24 divided by 12, is 2 and then 36 divided by 12 is 3 but instead I did 6 and then 2. It doesn't matter as long as you get to the simplest form 2 thirds. So I'm going to show you just two more examples for this. This is a pretty short one. So here I have 8 ninths. Now in this example if you look at 8 and 9 they don't have any common factors other than 1. I can divide this by 4 but not 9. I can divide 9 by 3 but not, not 8. So in this case this is already in simplest form, and I don't where I can't really reduce it any further. Just one more example to show you for reducing fractions. This is 54 72 over 72. 54 over 72. Now, here, this is a pretty tough example. You'd have to be doing a lot of division. So I'm going to show you a way to reduce this that you might never have seen before. So I'll start with 54, and I'll start with 72, and I'm writing them kind of like a fancy fraction instead of on top of each other, like a pretty standard fraction. And then I'm going to use my best friend, for those of you that know me, the division ladder. And I'm going to divide this down until I can't divide it anymore. So 54 divided, let's see, 54 and 72, what can I divide both of those by? How about, wait a minute. Doesn't 9 go into both of these? I'll start there. Because 9 times 6 is 54, and 9 times 8 is 72. So, alright, the bigger the number you take out, the easier it is. So, 6 eighths is an equivalent fraction, but I don't think 6 eighths is in simplest form either, because I can divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, 3 and 4 don't have any common factors other than 1. So therefore, this is actually 3 fourths. 3 fourths is the simplest form. So here, I kept dividing until I couldn't divide anymore, which is really what you're doing over here. But this gives it a little bit more structure using the division ladder as opposed to doing the pretty rainbows or the divide by divide by. But both of them will both of these methods will still give you the simple simplest form of the fraction, and that is how to reduce fractions.